number seven. But there's no way we can't start this edition of the Score North First Place Twins show without getting to the reckless trade speculation. Reckless speculation. I got one even more for you, Phil. Yeah, you this want one's good. Reckless speculation. You know this thing with him. How about reckless trade speculation? <laughs> you knew I had to throw JR in. There. Yes. That's yeah. that's exactly what went through my head when I saw the Charlie Walters report, Pioneer Press. I love a old shooter like you and I, after the Joe Mauer press conference was over on Saturday night, you and I were riding the elevator up with shooter. Yeah. Just shooting the breeze, no pun intended. Chit chat, no big deal. Didn't know that he had just dropped a little birdie bomb on TwinCities.com. This was a birdie bomb. Manny, did you see this over the weekend? Oh, yeah. Bill, and, and it reads, insiders say the Twins are moving closer to a trade with the Giants for left-handed starter, and I will add this, former World Series MVP, Madison Bumgarner. Reckless speculation. Now, Doogie and Judd, both uh, from Score North, are reporting this is a little bit premature speculation here. A little bit premature speculation. Well, we said reckless. We played the reckless sounder, right? It's clear. But both of them, both of them are are not denying that this could happen. They're just saying like, it, hey, it's a, uh, it's 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 not it's not not a thing, but it's not official. Right. That's what that's what Doogie mentioned to us yesterday on Score North Sundays yep. with me and Chad Graff. He's just said, it's 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 pre. I've been told it was premature. But I think there's something there's there. something there. It's not it's not made up of whole cloth, obviously. You know, and our guy Charlie Walters uh, put that in his column, and, and he I love it. He's been doing this for a long time. But if you're not familiar with Shooter, he puts in the uh, subhead there at the maybe towards the mid of the of the column. Don't print that. <laughs> it's like it's a great bit because no, yeah, this is gonna go in the paper. So Charlie Walters it. was like Charlie Walters was recklessly speculating long before we were like, we we should almost call it the Charlie Walters reckless speculation bin here going I, forward. There's something there. There but, is something there. I look, if it happens, we're all gonna say, Oh, what was how long has this been going for? And the twins always say, Well, you know, we made a couple phone calls. Major League teams are famous for that. Well, you know, we made a couple phone calls. They we know they were interested and they knew we were but ultimately, it came together pretty quickly, like just before the trade deadline. Uh-uh. No, these are the kinds of conversations that start in the winter and then trickle over into the summer. So I wouldn't be shocked at all if there's something here. And I'm not saying we're not going to talk about the Twins because this was a good weekend series. There are plenty of things to discuss. I'm not saying we're not going to talk about Joe Maurer. But right now, every time I talk to somebody who's like a Twins fan and in on this season, the first thing they ask me about is, what are we going to add yeah. to go make this a World Series winning team? And I think that's why we have to start the show here. Okay. So Jim Bowden, former Major League Executive General Manager, now with The Athletic, his proposed trade on TheAthletic.com is the Twins, get, and, you, and you have a whole story on ScoreNet.com about this. The Twins, hypothetically, this is just a hypothetical that he's throwing out there. The Twins would get Madison Bumgarner and left-handed reliever, a, a, a really good left-handed reliever, a strikeout guy, Will Smith. So you'd be getting a starter and a reliever. And you'd be giving up your top pitching prospect, Bruzdar Gratterall, and Nick Gordon, who, by the way, is hitting about 300 for AAA Rochester and is knocking on the door for a call-up at some point. It just kind of depends on, you know, do the Twins want to call him up and spot start him? So Nick Gordon could get – he's on call-up watch at any time here based on what he's doing at AAA. Would you trade Bruzdar Gratterall and Nick Gordon – for Madison Bumgarner, Renta Bumgarner, right? For because he's a free agent after the year. That's right. And is it a year and a half of Will Smith, or is nope. it, they're both rentals. rentals? Yay or nay? No. So I'm, I'm a yay on this. Okay. And I I wouldn't have been a yay on this because you and I have been doing pod twins podcast together for four or five years. I'm not normally a yay on this giving up your top pitching prospect for rentals. I want a year and a half of somebody. I want. I want team control if I'm going to give up that level prospect. But the Twins are never going to have a window this wide, maybe in the next 20 years, in terms of what's your division lead? Are you guaranteed to make the playoffs when you're making this trade? And the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. How good is your offense? How good are your other pieces? It's a wide open window to win the division. So you're you're playing already in the ALDS right now. You're making trades for the ALDS and beyond. So there's it's not there's no risk of missing the playoffs 
with rentals. You're in the playoffs. So now you're just looking to bolster your October roster. You have the best lineup in the history of the franchise and the best power hitting lineup in the history of baseball right now. This is the window to add pieces to win a championship. I'm okay with Bruce Dark Ratterall. If this is the like, do I want would I rather have would I rather have team control a year and a half of Trevor Bauer? Yes. Would I would would I rather that Noah Syndergaard comes off the disabled list with the hamstring that's been bothering him and you get two and a half years of would I rather leverage Bruce Dark Gratterall for two and a half years of Noah Syndergaard? Yes. But if it came down to it, and these are my options, and I get and I'm looking for a package deal, a reliever, and a starting pitcher. I'm pretty much trading anything required to bolster my October roster. That's where I'm at with this team right now. I wrote about Go this for it. at scorenorth.com, and I'm not on – I'm not even – it makes it sound like I'm getting off the go-for-it bus. I'm not. This is the go-for-it bus. It is absolutely a World Series attitude in this room right now. Doesn't so I'm not, fe- doesn't feel like I'm it. not well, trying to rain on that parade. You're, you're prefacing a – No, I'll do you one better, okay. Phil. All right. You want to win one World Series. I want to win more. This is a win multiple <laughs> World Series room right here. We have hashtag World Series attitude on the score on first play twin show. Now, Bruce R. Gratterall is hurt. So that factors into the equation. But I am so in on reliever in that package, Will Smith. He's a strikeout guy, weak contact. Mm-hmm. He is one of the best relievers in baseball that you don't, he's not a household name. You pair that at the back end of the bullpen. Now we're talking. Now you're deep enough. I obviously already think you're deep enough to get to October. Now you're deep enough to potentially start playing some matchup games and be a nightmare in October. Who wants to play the Twins right now, by the way? How many teams in baseball are circling the Twins and saying, hope we get them in the division so, series? So you're saying you'd rather trade something. You're drawing a line and saying, Let, let's hang on to – the Bruce Dar Gratterall level prospects. I have, you don't need to give no, up him to get well, Will Smith. Yeah, I would try to get Will Smith without giving up one of my big three. I'm not trading Alex Kirilov. I mean, I always say not trading, but like if the Angels call and they're like, hey, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani, I'm in. I'm in. Sign me up. You can have Kirilov. We, we love you, but pack your bags. You're going to Southern California. I'm not trading Alex Kirilov. I'm not trading Royce Lewis. And I'm not trading Bruce Dar Gratterall. I put him absolutely on that list before he had this little shoulder injury. He's like 20 years old and just mowing him down in the Southern League. He is doing things that you're not supposed to be able to do as a pitching prospect. I think six years of that, really seven, if we're being honest about it, seven years of that is going to be more valuable for the Twins in this World Series window than three months of Madison Bumgarner, who I think is overrated, and three months of Will Smith, who I think is phenomenal. See, you know, I... I don't think Madison Bumgarner is overrated anymore. I think it's pretty well acknowledged he's not the guy who won the MVP of the World Series for almost five years ago now. I don't think he's as good as Jose Barrios right now. Yeah. But I think he's better than Martin Perez, who has now had, what, is it four questionable starts in a row? Three or four? He, I think he's okay yesterday. It's like the, the final line doesn't look good. I don't, I don't think he was that bad. Do you think he's better than AL ERA leader Jake Odorizzi? Yes. Okay. I'd I mean, rather have Odorizzi start. In a postseason game, yeah, absolutely. I right think now, that's. I, I think. I think that's putting too much stock into a really good start to the season. That's fair. Things are different when you get to October, and Jake Odorizzi has never pitched in situations like he's going to face in October. And I know that you and I are the lead stat nerds of Score North, and you and I are the lead analytics guys, formerly of the Touch 'Em All podcast. And so I'm fully aware of the transformation Jake Odorizzi has made, and I, I think he's turned a corner. I don't think what he's done. The first three months here is a fluke. So I'm not trying to take credit away from him. But I think there's a human element aspect here when you get to October that Nelson Cruz has experience with, that Marwin Gonzalez has experience with. And from a pitching perspective, you don't have a lot of guys in your rotation or your bullpen. If any, I'd have to go up and down and even see, like, is there, po- like, Taylor Rogers doesn't have any postseason experience. We can't just negate postseason experience and credibility performing against the best lineups in the world. Madison Bumgarner has allowed like one run in 36 innings of world series action before. Now, is that sustainable? Not he's not the same guy he was four or five years ago, but you're getting a dude who has performed at the highest level with all the chips on the table. And I think that matters. Like what I, what I value that over just a flat out better pitcher who's never pitched in that situation before no, probably not. Okay. But, right. but 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 sounds like you're saying this Jake Odorizzi thing is like 
It's not going away, and Jake Odorizzi is going to be this guy in October, and I'm not ready to say that yet. Let's not miss the argument for the facts along the way. The argument is, are you trading Bruce R. Gratterall, Nick Gordon plus as this rumored thing from Jim Bowden in The Athletic? So this isn't us just like, spitballing random trades this is jim bowden former mlb it's jim GM. bowden spitballing random trades. that's right that's totally fine <laughs> that's, that's fair reckless speculation that's completely fair that's what's happening here and it's it's fine it's fun and we're gonna have some fun with it on the score on first place twin show but my point is that this proposed trade doesn't sit well with me and i would look for something better yes i like will smith if, if you can find a trade package Hey, if I can take Bumgarner out of that deal and still get Will Smith and not give up Gratterall, I'm way more interested in that. That's my argument. The second part of it is, which I, I, I think we just breezed past with the Odorizzi stuff, that I, I don't want this to get lost. The Twins, if they're going to trade for pitching, should be looking for the back end of the bullpen and the very top of the rotation. Not a mid-rotation guy. Not somebody who looks like a three but has been there in October. They need to look for a one that makes Barrios a two and Odorizzi a three. Now you're talking a World Series rotation. Real quick.